So here we are. We're at minicamp. Uh, I think we just finished day two of minicamp, and Terry McLaurin is a no-show. He continues to hold out because he wants a new contract, and who can blame him? He is clearly one of the best receivers in the NFL. Yes, I am probably biased because currently he's playing for the Washington Commanders. At least I hope he continues to play for the Washington Commanders in the future. But right now things are a little iffy because, of course, he's holding out. And, you know, who knows what's going to happen because <clears throat> right now we look at all these mega contracts that guys like Cooper Cuff is making. And, you know, these contracts continue to soar out of the roof. I mean, out of this world. And... You look at the Washington Commanders, and the question is, can they pay Terry McLaurin? I think I think they can. You know, they cleared off a lot of money, you know, off the books. Uh, the Landon Collins contract certainly got cleared off the the books um, after the the June uh, deadline there. So I think they have about eighteen million dollars freed up in um, assets. So they clearly can have some money set aside for Terry McLaurin. Now, why would they play hardball with Terry McLaurin? If this is what Washington is hoping to accomplish, then they are going to badly, badly fail, and they're going to lose Terry McLaurin. That is all it is to it. If it's just, if it's for other reasons, if they're trying to work out ways of trying to make sure they keep everybody else together for the long haul, okay, maybe I can buy that, but... Here, here's the thing. Terry McLaurin, as I said before, I think he's going to be a generational player. I think you need to make sure that you keep Terry McLaurin on this team. You do not want to lose somebody like Terry McLaurin. He is not a dime of a, you know, dime a dozen type of player. You know, running backs here lately, you can you can tend to plug and play running backs because right now in this league. Uh, even though I always stress that you still have to have a balanced offense and the running game is just as important as anything else, you don't necessarily need to have a an all-star running back. But at the same time, wide receivers, that's a different story. If you get an all-star wide receiver, just like we have with Terry McLaurin, you can't get those. <laughs> they just don't grow on trees. So Terry McLaurin is somebody that Washington needs to make top priority. You know, a few months ago, if you asked me, I said, "Be patient. Don't get, don't get your panties in a wad. All right, just, you know, a deal will get done." Well, now, now we're getting, you know, we're we're getting closer, and even I'm getting nervous. I'm like, "All right, what are you doing, folks? What are you doing, guys? All right, you, you know, yes." Yes, he's he's under contract this year, but this is kind of a lame lame duck type of year. You need to sign Terry McLaurin. Let me stress this: you have got to sign him. You have got to wrap up a deal this year. That is all it is to it. He continues to hold out. He may hold out the entire year. Do you really want Terry McLaurin to hold out the entire year? The answer to that's no. I don't care if Jahan Dotson turns out to be better than Terry McLaurin. You need Terry McLaurin. That's all it is to it. What do you think, folks? Do you agree with me on this? Let me know in the comments section below. Um, let's see if Terry McLaurin shows up. Right now he's in Florida. I don't expect him to show up for mini camp at all. Um, I think it's just a three-day thing anyway, so he's going to miss it. Is he even going to be at training camp? You know, training camp is not too, too far away, but, I mean, we still got a little over a month, so things can get done, but right now, you know, I'm getting a little nervous, so let me know what you think, and with that said, hell to the Washington Commanders, let's go Maniacs, and let's go into the next video.